Hi everyone, welcome to another Folio Society unboxing. I received a Folio Society gift card for my birthday, so I get to do another one of these unboxings for you. So let's start. This is a 1963 novel by French author uh, Pierre Boulet. It started a whole global media franchise starting with the original series of five films from 1968 through to 1963, uh, a television series in 1974, an animated series in 1975 and 6, the not-so-successful remake in 2001, and, of course, the very successful reboot series that is still going on today, starting in 2011, and a new film, I believe, coming out next year. I am, of course, talking about... If I can get the pack packaging off. Nearly there. <laughs> Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulet. I am not going to even attempt to say the original French title because I will be offending French people and linguists and language experts everywhere if I do. Part of the Apes, originally written in 1963, Apparently he wrote it in just six months uh, after being inspired by uh, the human-like expressions of gorillas at the zoo. It was translated into English by British author Zan Fielding. It was originally published in the UK under the title Monkey Planet and in the United States as Planet of the Apes. Of course, now everyone knows... Planet of the Apes, thanks to the film series. So now even in the UK, you'll find it published under this title. This folio edition. Has some great illustrations by, uh, I, I'm, it's David Diller. Eras. I really like this cover, the gorilla on the front in a military uniform, and then if you turn it over, the back of the same gorilla. The cardboard sleeve is just plain red. Let's have a look at some of the illustrations. Oh, sorry, some not safe for work stuff. <laughs> so, some people might think that uh, if they've seen the movie, original movie with Charlton Heston, which is based on this, they might not need to read the book because they know everything. They know how it ended. They know, they know the story. And whilst that was a very good adaptation and does follow a lot of the same story beats, I would say, no, if you've seen the movie, you have not got the story of Planet of the Apes. The, the ending that that film is known for, spoilers, everyone, it was a film in 1968. You should know by now. It ends up that the Planet of the Apes was Earth all along. He sees the Statue of Liberty. You maniacs! You blew it up. Yep, that famous ending was written by Rod Serling of the Twilight Zone fame and was not in this book at all. This book has a very different ending. In fact, the ending in this book is probably more similar to the not-so-successful remake, Tim Burton remake, in 2001. Though not exactly the same as that either. Um, so sorry, more spoilers. So, uh... This is a huge, major media franchise, still going strong today. There are computer games, there are comic books. Uh, the original film with Charlton Heston was nominated for an Oscar. 
the the current series are all blockbuster smashes and it all started here with this book uh which the author said was not science fiction it was a social uh social fiction was it he said um and it was meant to be uh and, and the message of the story was meant to show that human intelligence is not a fixed uh, quality, that it could atrophy if it was taken for granted. Hence, the humans that the travelers encounter are, have gone bestial and feral, where the apes are, become civilized. Uh, other differences between this and the films, the, the apes are much more technologically advanced in, in this book than they are in the original series of films. Uh, they wear clothes more like uh, 20th century human beings. Instead of shoes, they wear gloves on their feet, because uh, they're prehensile <laughs> feet. Um, you know, they, ha they have motor cars, they, uh, they fly helicopters. The same social structure that is in the original films exists. The gorillas are the police and the military. The orangutans are uh, politicians. Uh, and religious leaders and the chimpanzees are liberals and scientists uh, things like that and that so very similar some of the characters in those films are from here as well Cornelius and Zira and Zaius are in this book um, but the astronaut Taylor is as a different character and here there is, is a is a character called Ulysses who is um, a reporter uh, traveling and the the book is kind of based on a sort of those um the 18th and 19th century travel narratives like jonathan swift's gulliver's travels that's what this is kind of uh influenced by as well um Boulay considered this one of his minor works but of course as you know it went on to be very popular huge bestseller um and is still influencing us and even and our entertainment today so i hope you enjoyed that unboxing and short uh, rambling rundown of the planet of the apes if you enjoy this kind of thing and want to see more then uh, give us a like and a subscribe uh, comment below what you think and hopefully i'll see you again soon